Hello, Michael. We have your 1985 380SL here on the hoist. And we just want to show you that the muffler donuts are starting to go bad. Um, the chain donut over here in the back has a, a crack right there. There's a the chain donut should be changed. Another thing that should be changed are the center muffler donuts. This one's broken. And the opposite side is starting to crack as well. And it's just a matter of time before that one goes bad. So we recommend changing three muffler donuts over here in the back of the car. In the front of the car, there's an oil leak coming from the power steering system. You can see over here where the power steering box is that there's oil dripping down right there in that area. So the reason why it's leaking is we got some oil coming from the power steering low pressure hoses. This is all wet full of oil. It almost looks as if though the oil pan's leaking, but when we looked at the oil, it's actually coming from uh, the power steering system. So we're gonna recommend changing the power steering hoses. Um, you can see over here when we look up that the hoses are up there and and this is the high pressure hose I don't think we need to change that but there are two other hoses called low pressure system hoses that should be replaced uh, right away and then after we change those hoses we can see if the power si power steering system is still okay the next thing we want to show you is that the front shocks especially the left front one is uh, starting to leak oil you can see this is all wet so we're recommending that you change the front shock absorbers, the left front shock absorber is leaking oil and we're recommending that you change both of them in pairs. Okay, Michael, the next thing we want to show you is that the front, left front shock absorber is leaking oil and it's got wetness all over it, so we're going to recommend that you change the left front shock. We're also going to recommend that you change the left front brake caliper harness. The harness itself is, is uh, the insulation is coming off. It's only a matter of time before these wires right here start to break apart. So we're recommending that you change the left front brake caliper harness as well as the ABS sensor harness. Uh, the harness, the insulation on that harness is starting to go bad. It's only a matter of time before the ABS sensor wiring and the, and the brake caliper harness wiring goes bad. The next thing I want to show you is that the front balance for the lower front spoiler, it's a little plastic grill that goes in this area. It's missing. Um, it appears as if though he, someone at one time may have hit something and broke the, the balance grill. You can see there's a, a left side grill. The left side grill's here, but the right side grill is gone. It's missing. So you're missing the right side front balance grill. And it um, it's not a big deal. It's really just a cosmetic issue. Uh, if you want, I'll give you an estimate to change both the left and right side because the right side is actually missing a piece here. You can see the broken piece connects here to this other piece right here. So um, it is broken and you will need the left and right side front. Okay, Michael, the, we put the car on the ground. I want to show you that the hood pad is bad on the car. It's deteriorated. This hood pad actually keeps the paint from cracking on the hood from the heat of the engine. And as you can see, the hood pad on, underneath uh, the hood is all deteriorated and it needs a new one. The next thing we want to show you is that the brake fluid in the brake fluid system reservoir is uh, dirty. It should be a transparent yellow color and it's actually a dark brown color and we're recommending that you bleed your brakes and that way you have um, you know, a solid brake pedal. What could happen is you could experience brake pedal fade when the brake fluid starts to turn a dark color and especially in the mountains when you're driving and you could actually lose your brakes and um, because the brake fluid looks as if though it hasn't been changed in a really long time so this is why we're recommending that you change it. The next thing we want to show you is that the windshield washer tank is actually broken. It has a crack in it right here and we're going to recommend a new windshield washer tank. It may also need a windshield washer pump. I won't know until we put uh, water in the tank and try it, but I'm pretty sure that if we're going to change the tank, we should change the windshield washer pump at the same time. The pumps are made out of plastic, and sometimes when we pull them off the tank, they break. So uh, since this tank looks really old, I'm recommending that you put a new tank and new windshield washer pump at the same time. The other thing I want to show you is that the air filter mount on the, left, on the right side of the engine is broken and um, the car is also going to need some wipers. The wipers on the car are worn out. There's actually no blade on them uh, to clean. So what's going to happen is you could scratch your window with these metal inserts here. Uh, once this, this rubber uh, wears out, you could actually create a scratch on your front windshield. So we're going to recommend new wipers as well. So make sure uh, you get these replaced as soon as possible. Next thing we're going to do, uh, Michael, is change this low pressure power steering hose. This, the one that's leaking is this one right here. Um, I'm recommending that you change this, this uh, low pressure power steering hose so that 
uh, the oil leak will stop. This is the oil leak that's actually making look, making the oil pan look as if though it's leaking when it's not. I would recommend that we change this hose and then just start the car and run it and see if the, the leak on the oil pan goes away because um, it's really wet under there. It's hard to say for sure the oil pan is leaking or not. So let's just start with this hose first and then go from there. Okay, the next thing we're going to show you, uh, Michael, is that the um, intake and return fuel lines, uh, they appear to be original and I'm going to recommend that you change this fuel line here. I'm going to try and bring the camera in so you can see or hopefully see that this, this fuel line is cracking really badly and this is a fire hazard. If this hose leaks, you could actually cause an engine fire. Um, I recommend changing this hose as soon as possible. This hose and the other line should be changed both at the same time. This, is, this hose is a fire hazard and this is just a disaster waiting to happen. So please, recommend, I recommend changing this hose right now rather than waiting for, for, for disaster to strike. Okay, Michael, uh, the next thing I want to show you is that the turn signals are working right now. Uh, we got them to work both the left and the right side because you had to accidentally trip this hazard flasher switch. It was halfway on, halfway off. So make sure that when you do use the turn signals and they're not working, that the hazard switch is all the way off. Otherwise, your turn signals will not work. 